Lilo Nishmas, Immanuel Ben, Ben Menachem Mendel. You've been here, I've been saying till him for Immanuel Ben Sipora Fega now for the last two years. A young boy, 17 year old boy, died of cancer in the five towns. Uh, Yocheved worked for the father. Yocheved, uh, the father is a doctor, he's an oncologist. You can imagine an oncologist's son dying of cancer. And uh, Yocheved worked for, worked for him all these years and just uh, just a terrible, terrible. Learn the Ilunishmas, Immanuel Ben Menachem Mendel. Okay, we're discussing the the Milas of Eric Sisro. You want to mute? Okay, here he is. We're discussing the Milas of Eric Sisro. So we're going to start. We're going to start. We're up to Kufyud Yud Beis Amin Aleph. Kuf Yud Beis Amin Aleph. And discussing the milas of, of the fruits of Eretz Yisrael. Again, this should not be taken literally. Those interested, Art Scroll has pages and pages of of uh, of, of ideas of, of the the metaphors over here in the different pshatim. So uh, on Kuf Kuf Yud Beis, we have the second line. Reb Chelbo, Reb Avira, Reb Yosi Bchanina, Igloila who asked. They came to a certain place and Isu Kamayu Aparsega. They put a, a, a peach. They brought a peach in front of him. For sake of the Hebrew, it was a peach. The Habe Ke'ilfis Kebarhini. It was as big as the, a pan, a frying pan from the Kebarhini, name of a place. And the word knows, Ilfis Kebarhini, Kama Habe, Taka How big was that? He said, Chamei Sain. It was what? It was, it was five saw. So he brought a, a peach that was five saw. This is an incredibly, again, certainly <laughs> a, a huge amount. You're talking, I don't know, 20 gallons, a huge amount. So Akhlu Shlish, they ate a third of the peach. Vihivkiru Shlish, and they were mafkar a third of the, the, the peach. Vinasan Lufne, Vihemtam Shlish, and they put a third of the of the, the, the peach in front of their animals. The Shona, the next year, Ikla Rebbe Elazah has and Elazah came there. The Aisu the Kamei, they brought him a peach and knocked the Biyade. It was so small, he was able to take it in his hands like most of us can hold the peach in one hand. But Omar and Rebbe Elazah said, Eretz Pri Lemlecha. A land that's fruit came salty, may raw yoshve va, because of the yoshim who are raw. In other words, the people there, as a result of the Averis, the peach des descended in size from this huge peach to a regular peach. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Iqlil Gavla. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, he came to a place called Gavla. Okay. I think, I think we have Kenny in the car coming on. And we have Kenny in the car coming on. Okay, Kenny, we're in Kufyud Bay's Ahmed Aleph. We're we're uh, uh, that right before the it gets wide, two lines up. Rabbi, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi Ikla the Gavli came to Gavlo. Chayzinu lahanu kitufe. He saw this clusters of grapes. That be kaimi ki igli. They were they were they were standing there. They were like a, a golem, like calves. Amr Yeshua ben Levi said, "A golem be fun." And look, there's calves that are, are among the among the grapes. So Amru lay. They told Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi. Kitufe, you know, these are clusters of grapes. It's not calves. Alma said, "Rishu ben Levi, Eretz Eretz Hechnisa Perusayich, go ahead, land, bring your fruit in. Lemi at Moitzi Perusayich, who are you producing such wonderful fruit for? La Arviim to the Arabs, halalu these Arabs, Shamdu Aleinu Bechatoseinu, they come upon us with the Averis. So don't produce such great fruit for what for these people. Mishana, the next year, Ikla Reb Chiel Hasam." So you can imagine, as a result, result of Yeshua ben Levi's uh, klala, as, as, as a result of Yeshua ben Levi's klala, so the, the fruit diminished. The fruit went ahead and, and diminished. And the next year uh, came along Rabbi Chia Lahasan. Rabbi Chia showed up over there. And Chazinu Dahabi Kaimi Ki'izi. He saw that the goats had the clusters of the grape, but no longer as the size of what? Of, of a golem, but now they were the size of goats. It was this, the size of goats. So I'm easy being like a fanim. Apir said they're easy among the fanim. Now, I imagine that still to have a grape cluster that's the size of a goat is still a considerable size. It's not as big as a calf, but it's certainly a considerable size. Now the people, what did they say? They said, Umbule, they told them, Zeal, go. We don't, we don't want you to do like your friend. Your friend went ahead and gave us a klala and it diminished from the size of a calf to the size of a goat. We don't want it getting any less. So they told Apir to leave. Okay. Tan Rabbanon, again, describing the brachas of Eretz Yisrael. Tan Rabbanon, the Birchaisa Shal Eretz Yisrael, right? And the place when Eretz Yisrael is the bracha, 
Beisa oisa chamesh ribin korin. A beisa can go ahead and it can produce 50,000 core. A beisa, can, in, when, when it's in its, its, its heyday, when in their loss of love, a beisa is going to be able to produce 50,000. Now the Gemara is going to go through the cheshbin. How do you get the, uh, the 50,000? Be yeshiva shel tsayan, right? Tsayan was a place when it was, when it was settled. Tsayan. They saw Oysa Shivan Kurin. They saw would go ahead and produce 70 core. How do you know that, Tatanya? Omra Meya, Ani Reisi, the biggest Beit Shan. I saw the valley of Beit Shan. And they saw Oysa Shivan Kurin. Beit Shan is, is not part of Eretz Yisrael. It's, it's, it says over here, Beit Shan is not part of Eretz Yisrael. And it, one saw was one area that you could plant a saw was producing 70 core. The Eilacham Ula Bechalar Tzayis Yosem Eretz Yisrael. And of all the lands outside of Eretz Yisrael, the one that is most is Mitzrayim. So now we have Beit Shan that produces 70. One saw can produce 70. And we know that in Eretz Mitzrayim, it's better than Beit Shan. Shinemar, Kigan Hashem carries Mitzrayim. Like the, the, like the Gan of Hashem going down to Mitzrayim. Now, so, so you have we, have, we have a given. We know that we're given that that. 70, a land of Beit Shan can produce 70, and we know that 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 Mitzrayim is better than Beit Shan. However, in the Chamuula Bechalar Mitzrayim, and in Mitzrayim itself, there's no better place for planting Yosemit Soyan than the place called Soyan. The Havi Marbu Mamalachim, because that's where the kings they would hang out. It says the kings would be in the Sarav would be in Soyan. Now, so you have it established. That the best place in best place in Mitzrayim is Tsayan. And we know that Beit Shan is 70. And we want to get to 50,000. We want to get that that one saw will produce 50,000. So now here we go. Now in Eretz Yisrael, the, the, the rockiest place is Chevron. That's where they would bury people there, right? Literally. Hebron was built seven, seven times more than Sayan. However, as we're going to see, Mibuna does not mean built. Hebron was literally built seven years before Sayan. Good. Now, my Nibnesom, when it says he was built seven years before, what does Nibnesom mean? If you're going to say Hebron literally was built seven years before Sayan, so again, Chevron and Eretz Yisrael, Tzoyan and Mitzrayim, Tzoyan being the best place in Mitzrayim. Is it possible for a person to build a house for his youngest son before his oldest son? So you're telling me that Chevron, which was Eretz Canaan, right, would be built before Mitzrayim? Is that possible? After all, it's not possible, Shinemar, because it says, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi Rosenzweig, here you are, this week's parsha. Right, this week's parsha just had yesterday, Shimon. Right, who bnei Chum? Who were the sons of Chum? Cush, Mitzrayim, Fut, U Kenan. Kenan is his youngest son. Mitzrayim is his second son. So it's not possible to translate Nivnus literally as built because there's no way he's building something for Kenan, his youngest son, which is Hebron, before it's Mitzrayim, which is Tzoyan. Ella, what does it mean? Shemavuna al Achas Mishiva B'Tzoyan. In Hebron is seven times more fertile than Tzoyan. So now, if if Soyan can produce 70, as we said, and Heaven is seven times more, that's 490. The Hani Mili, that's 70, 70 times 7, 490, is Betroshim. That's the stony parts of, of Heaven. Avashloi Betroshim, in Eretz Yisrael, where you don't have rocks, Chamesh Meya. It's not 40, so it's 500. It's not 490, it's 500. The Hani Mili, Shaloi Berchaseha. That's when what? Regularly, it produces 500 times more. Again, we have the Cheshbon, right? Soyan is 70. Eretz Yisrael is 70 times more. Chevron, but that's the rocky part of Eretz Yisrael. That's 490. The regular part that's not stone is 500. 500. And that's normally 500 times more. However, when it's Rebbe Chayseha, guys, listen to this. When Eretz Yisrael, the brachas that Hashem is going to uh, put on Eretz Yisrael, it says, by Yisrak, by Yisrael Yitzchak Be'eretz Ahi, Yitzchak, and Pashas told us, he, he went ahead and he planted in that land, the Yimtzah Bashona Ha'hi, Me'ya Sha'arim, by Yavarucho Hashem. He found a hundred Sha'arim, a hundred times 50 
is what? Is 50,000. 100 times 50 is 50,000. That's the cheshbin that Rechei Saha, one saw will produce 50,000. It's it, Again, not to be taken literally, metaphorically, but certainly uh, the land of Eretz Yisrael. I think to this 100 day, times 500. 100 times 500. 100 times 500. I said 50. No, 100 times 500. I'm sorry. 100 times 500. I, I made a mistake. No, 100 times 500. Even, you know, not to be taken literally, but people are amazed what the Jews were able to do agriculturally in Eretz Yisrael. This man is there. They don't have water. They don't have water. And nonetheless, they're able... I mean, Eretz Yisrael is known... Their produce, they export all over the world. It, they, they, that's one of the major exports, the fruit of Eretz Yisrael, the produce of Eretz Yisrael, which is, again, certainly certainly tied into the idea of Eretz Yisrael being so productive, despite in it's, it's, it's a li limited natural resource. Right? It's limited natural resource. Eretz Yisrael, they always want water. They're always fighting over water. Water is, is really commanding in Eretz Yisrael. So it's, that's why if you go to Eretz Yisrael, you'll excuse me, they have on the, on the toilets, they have two ways to flush because they don't want you wasting so much water when you flush, because again, they don't have water. Excuse me for the, for the for just the explanation. It says the more Vaita, Tanya, Om Rabbi Yaisi, Sa'a bi Yehuda hoysa'a chamesh sa'yin. A sa'a of wheat in Yehuda would produce five sa'a. So, what was the five sa'a? Sa'a kemach, a sa'a of regular flour. Sa'a soilis, a sa'a of fine flour. Sa'a subin, which is bran. Sa'a mursin, which is, was a, was a thicker bran. We saw Kiburayo is also something, some produce from there. I don't know what Kiburayo is. Amalei ahut tzedoyki to Reb Chanina, yo'a mashbichihu bo ba'arachim. Said this tzedoyki to Reb Chanina, it's yo'a, it's, it's correct that you should praise the land. Why? They saw achas and yich li'ah, but my father left me one saw. And you know from that one saw what I got? Mimenu meshach, I got mashach is oil. Mimenu chamar, I got wine. Mimenu ibor, I got grain. Mimenu kidneys, I got kidneys, legumes. Mimenu royus, miknasi, and I was able to go ahead and that one saw also to graze my cattle. Basically, that one saw gave me all the sustenance that I need for my house. Amalei al bar amara, the bar ar Eretz Yisrael. There was this amara, that's the Lashon of Amari, he was a guy, who said to a resident of Eretz Yisrael, Hai tulasa de kaima aguda de yardona, that tulasa, that, that day tree, that's standing on the bank of the Jordan River, you know how much dates it harvested from it? Amalei said the Yidna, I'll tell you how many. She's in Kuri, 60 Kur. I got 60 Kur of dates from that palm. Amalei said, and Murray said to him, you haven't gone into it, meaning you already you destroyed it. Why? When we were here, the Murray were here, we got 120, twice as much. So I'm lay. So the year told him, I know Nami Mechad Gisa coming along. When I told you 60, I was only spending for one side of the tree. I wasn't telling you the whole tree. I told you only like from one, one side of the tree. Amrav Kista, my dixir, ve'etin cha eretz chemda nachlas tzvi. I'll give you a land, a land of chemda, a very dear, dear desirous land, nachla, an inheritance tzvi is like a deer. Lama eretz yisrael, this famous Gemara, Lama eretz yisrael, nimshal tzvi. Why is eretz yisrael compared to a deer? Lama lecha to tell you. If you skin a deer, right, it, the, the, the skin uh, shrinks. It's, it's stretched out, very taut when it's on the deer. And when you go ahead right, and, and, and skin the deer, if you kill it, it shrinks. So just like the skin of a deer cannot be maxed like the, the meat of the deer, the venison. Eretz is so great, it can't contain the amount of produce. Just like the tzvi is the fastest of all the animals. So to Eretz Yisrael is the fastest to go ahead and, produce, and uh, ripen its fruit. It's very fit. It's very lean. It doesn't have fatty meat. Eretz Yisrael, I would think, good. It, it ripens quickly. However, the empire says, not so, the food is not so, so, so rich. It's, 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 it's fat like milk, right? Not, not skim milk. And it's sweeter than honey. The Blessed Ki Havi Solitary to Sol Lama, when the Blessed would go up there to Sol, he said, I was, I was pulled out. I, I, I escaped one of three curses. We're going to see a Pasuk that describes three curses, and he's going to say, I escaped these three curses. Ki Samchu Amar, when they gave him Smich, he said, tarti. So going up there to Sol took care of one curse, getting Smich to cover a second curse. Ki Azvu, Besoyda Ibra, and when I was given Study it, but they used to go ahead. That was like seemed to be the highest seat in the land to go ahead and describe and figure out exactly, right? Yeah. 
Rebbe Loza, he have his soul carried to Israel. When he would come up there to Israel, again, three, three klalas. He said, it saved me from each klala. Paul to me chada. When I went up there to Israel, I was, I was, I escaped one. He samchu, when, uh, when I got smicha, Paul to me tarti. He asvu, the side of Ibra, when they put me in the side of Ibra, which is the, the council that would go ahead and, and deal with the, figuring out the, the moilid and, and went to go ahead and make an Ibra, Paul to me plus. I escaped all three. Now, the Pusik says, Vahoysa yodi al hanavim, hachoysim shav, so if you have the, the Pasik, it's the last Pasik on the page here by Yecheskel, you, you give us. Now, what are we going to say about this Pasik? It says the Gemara the following. So we're going to dash, we're going to dash in the Pasik. It says that they won't be the side ami among the side of the people. It says Saidibur. That would be the Klala of side of the, the people who meet to go ahead and figure out the 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 Ibr, the you know, the Ibiyar, the leap year. Upksav Basisu they won't be written into the the the, the house of Eric Sisrol, the Smicha, the first Smicha. Well, Admas Yisrola Yavo, they won't come to Eric Sisrol, Kimash Mai, they make a territory Sisrol. So, so all three rebel is thanking Hakadosh Baruch Hu, stating he did make a territory Sisrol, he did get Smicha, and he was likely to sit on the council of U Ibr. The Rizeri Kiyav Yisrol, there is Sisrol, like Ashik, the Brol and Mori, he got Eric Sisrol, he couldn't find the ferry. So I, mean, I was wondering if this is the beginning of the Gemara, the end of the Gemara. It began the Gemara, Rebbe Zeri was escaping, he was escaping Rebbe Yehuda, right? Because Rebbe Yehuda had Darshan that you're not allowed to go to Eric Sisrol yesterday's daf. So Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Zera, who, who said you could, was scared of Rabbi Yehuda. So I was thinking maybe this is, he's finally going into Eretz Yisrael. This is, is, is going into Eretz Yisrael. So what does it say? It says, and if we get there, like, he couldn't find what? He couldn't find a, he couldn't find a, um, a ferry boat to take him across. He couldn't find a ferry to take him across. What did he do? Nakat bin Mitzvah, he took a rope, the Ka'avar, and he went across. It seems he took a rope and he put a piece of wood in the river and he was on the rope, going with the rope. I guess the ferry, you know the ferries, do you ever see? They have a, a rope and, and they pulled the, they pulled the rope across, right? They pulled the, the ferry across. They had ropes going from one side. And how would you move the boat? So he didn't wait for the boat. He took a wood, he put it down, and he was pulling himself on the rope to get across into Eretz Yisrael. So Amalei Ahut Tzedaiki, it's like he saw Rav Zeir and he said, I'm a Paziza. You, you, I'm that, uh, that uh, just just act without thinking. You who put your mouth before your ears. You said, Nasa Nishma, right? You put your, right? Nasa Nishma, we put our mouth. Nasa, we will do. Nishma, we will hear. So that shows that what, that you're impetuous, how impetuous you are. So Amalei, Reb said, what are you talking about? Right? The place that Aaron and Aaron were place that Moshe and Aaron weren't to get into. How do I know I love be Zoycha to get there? So as soon as I have a chance, I'm, I'm going to zoom in. I think we'll just stop over here and save this for the CM. So the CM will be as Hashem be tomorrow night at 7.15. Be as Hashem, and we'll be starting with Sechda Nidarim, Mazel Tov, young men.